welcome to the Friendship House of Prayer Baptist Church. I am the Reverend Keith Latham, and I am one of the associated ministers here today. And I am so glad that you're able to join us today. And uh, we are going to have a word from on high this morning, and we are going to just hear from God. So just praise the Lord and worship God today. And remember, Jesus is Lord. Good morning. We are going to just go into have a word of prayer this morning. And so if everyone could just bow their heads and bow their hearts before the Lord. Our precious and eternal Father God, we come before you this morning with bowed down heads and a humbled heart. Father God, we thank you for just another day. Lord, we thank you for just being God all by yourself, Father God. Father God, I ask right now that you just come in and just be with me today as I, as I bring forth the word today, Lord. Lord God, I ask right now, Heavenly Father God, that you remove me and fill me up with your uh, Holy Spirit. Father God, I ask right now, Lord, that you continue to just wrap your loving arms around me this morning, Father God. And Lord God, I just ask right now that you just touch this people this morning, Father God, as, as they get a word, Father God. And not let it be my word, Father God, but just let it be your word, Father God. And I'm just, I'm just a, a vessel. And so, Father God, right now, I'm just asking that you just touch me right now, Father God. And Lord God, we just ask that you just bless this people today, Father God. Touch them. Throw your loving arms around them, Father God. And we just ask, Lord, that you just touch every need of soul one by one, I pray thee, Heavenly Father. And Lord God, we just look to you, the author and finisher of our, of our faith. So, Father God, I ask that you just rest, rule, and abide henceforth, now, and forevermore. In Jesus Christ's mighty and matchless name I pray. Amen.
scripture this morning and it's one of my favorites amen um, it says this I will lift up thine eyes unto the hills of which cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord which made the heavens 
and the earth. Um, and so this morning, I want to talk to you about the Lord will make a way. The Lord will make a way. Amen. Hallelujah. And so today, as I bring forth this message to, to you, I look at the scripture, and this is a psalm, uh, and like I said, this is one of my uh, favorite scriptures. Um, I will lift up thine eyes unto the hills of which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made the heavens and the earth. And we can take that and say that we know that we're going through something today. We know that we're going through trials and tribulations. We know that we're facing a, a global pandemic. And there's also other things that are going on in this world. But today, I want to encourage you to look to Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Amen. And so throughout this, throughout this um, pandemic, we know that it's a hard thing. You know, things are closing and, uh, you know, we can't be in worship together. But God has made a way for we can, you know, bring a sermon to you each and every Sunday here on this particular platform. And so God made a way for, for that to happen, that we can bring the, the gospel message of Jesus Christ, that we can bring this gospel message. Um, you know, it may not be in, in, in the church, um, it may not be in the church uh, building, but, you know, we still can have church and, you know, it, it's not the building that we, uh, you know, the building is not the church, but we, as the body of Christ, we make up the church. Amen. So, uh, you know, so God made a way for us to, to bring forth you uh, this church service here uh, on this platform on YouTube. And now we can just, you know, bring the gospel message to thousands of people and they can hear the gospel message amen so we know god will make a way amen we know that what what satan meant for bad jesus god he will turn around and he will make for good amen hallelujah so today we we just know that we serve a mighty god we serve an awesome god today and we serve a God that, that sits high, and we serve a God that looks low. Amen. So today, we just want to encourage you today. I just want to encourage you today to don't give up hope. Amen. To look to Jesus. Amen. To, to turn your eyes off of the world and turn your eyes on the man from Galilee, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So today, as the scripture says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills of which cometh my help. Amen. Who is my help? It's not the world, because the world, they would, they would rather harm you than help you. Amen. And my help cometh from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. So we know that the Lord is our help. We know that the Lord is our strength. Amen. As I was reading this morning in the book of Nehemiah, uh, chapter 8, verses 10. And you can look that up, but I'm not going to turn to it. But Nehemiah uh, 8, 10 says, For the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. So no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're facing, it, and it, 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 it might look like, Everything is busting loose. It, it might think like the, the, you might, like, like they say, you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulder. Or it might, you might be going through a, a difficult situation. Or you might be having some kind of marital problems. Or you might, your, your children may not be acting right. Or something might, you might be having a hard time on your job. But always remember this. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. And I know that the joy of the Lord is my strength because I tried Jesus a long time ago. And I know that Jesus Christ has never failed me. I know that he is, the, and it says in the book of Hebrews, 
uh, in the 13th chapter there, it says that he will never leave me, nor will he forsake me. Amen. There's a lot of times that I have turned my back on God, but God has never turned his back on me. Amen. Even in my darkest hour, even in my darkest hour, I need to look to Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of my faith. Even when I am low, even in the valley, even in the valley, I need to look to Jesus. Because that song, I don't know if you remember that song, but the God of the mountain is still God in the valley. Amen. And the God of our day, he's still God of our night. Amen. Let me tell you something right now. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. God will never change. Amen. We used to sing that song, Hold to God's Unchanging Hand. Amen. Feel, build your hopes on things eternal. Amen. And just hold to God's unchanging hand. Amen. So even in your darkest hour, even when it seems like nothing is going to go right. Amen. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Amen. Amen. I, I went through a, a little uh, procedure here this past month, and I'm not going to go into any details, but the Lord uh, made it so that I don't have to have a, a, a surgery. Amen. The Lord made it where, I, and, and so I looked to God, and they said that I was going to have to wear a, a, a certain thing, but but anyway, I had to look to God and I had to say, you know what, you know what, God, I'm coming against this. I'm, 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 I'm going to pray over this situation. And I prayed over the situation and I prayed over the situation. And I went to the doctor and the doctor said, hey, as long as everything is going right, we don't have to operate on, 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 on you. And you don't have to wear, you know, anything or whatever. But and I looked to God and I said, thank you, Jesus. You know, I, I still have to, I still have to take my medication. But you see, no, you know what though? You pray over your medication and God will work through your medication. Amen. So we know that God can heal your, 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 God can heal your sickness. God can heal your disease. Amen. God, God can, can, can wipe away all tears from your eyes. God can can do anything but fail. Amen. I used to hear people say that a long time ago that my God can do anything but fail. And the Bible tells us that there's nothing impossible for God. Amen. Because you see, the God of, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob can never fail. Amen. And I, I, I know the story, and you all know the story about uh, uh, um, Shadrach, Meshach, and as I heard a pastor say this, and to bed we go. <laughs> Amen. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But he says, and to bed we go. But anyway, um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, um, they were in the fiery furnace. Amen. And these two, I mean, these three um, Hebrew children were down there. And, they, and King Nebuchadnezzar was the king at that particular time. And he told, these, um, told everybody that you need to bow down to my God, amen, not the God of the creator, but his God, amen. And so um, they bowed down to, they did Everybody did what the king said except Shadrach, Meshach, and the bed we go. Amen. They, they did not bow down to King Nebuchadnezzar's God. Amen. What they did was they bowed down to the true and living God. Amen. And so what they did was there's that King Nebuchadnezzar threw them into a fiery furnace. And the furnace was seven times hotter than it should have been. And so when King Nebuchadnezzar threw them into the fiery furnace, Shadrach, Meshach, and the we go, they they ended up, um, they ended up, they just didn't sit, sit there in, in the furnace and say, oh, woe is me, and oh, how are we gonna do this? And you know, they prayed. And I believe they sang some hymns as well. And I believe that 
God heard their prayers. God saw their heart. And God knew their heart. Amen. And I believe that God, the Bible says that he was in the midst of the fire with uh, these three uh, boys. Amen. And so all of a sudden, hallelujah, <laughs> they looked into their furnace and they said that, wait a minute, did we put three into the furnace? And they looked and there was four. And the fourth one looked like the Son of Man. Amen. The Son, son of God. Amen. And so what happened was is they opened up the furnace. And the, the people that opened up the furnace, they burnt up. Amen. But can I tell you this right now? Can I tell you that, that the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and the we go, can I tell you that, that, that they, were, they, were, they were unharmed, they were unsinged. Amen. Can I tell you that God made a way, amen, out of no way where, where it looked like the fire was going to burn them up when it looked like they were going to be burnt into ashes, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, hallelujah, they, they, they were unharmed. They didn't have no burn marks on them. Hallelujah. But God made a way for them. Amen. And throughout the Bible, you see where God makes a way for his children. Amen. If you don't believe me, hallelujah. Woo, thank you, Lord. If you don't believe me, just, just ask Uncle Paul, amen, and, 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 and Brother Silas, amen. And I use this a lot, but they were down in the, in the fiery furnace, amen. And let I me mean, know, excuse me, they were, they were in the Roman jail, amen. They were down in, in the Roman jail, amen, and they were shackled, amen. And, they, and, and Uncle Paul, they, he could have said, you know, you know, I'm not, you know, let's just, just call it good, you know, let's just, no, he didn't do that. What did he do? What did, what did Paul do? What did Silas do? They prayed and they sang and they worshiped the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. What did they do? Amen. And all of a sudden, God heard their prayers and they had to wait on the Lord. Amen. Amen. And we know what the Bible says. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up as wings as eagles. Hallelujah. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Well, Paul and Silas, they waited on the Lord. Amen. And as they waited on the Lord, the Lord made a way for them. Amen. The Bible says that the jailhouse door huh, swung open wide. Amen. And the shackles that had them bound. Oh God. Hallelujah. The shackles that had them bound. They came off. Amen. And they were free. Amen. Somebody that I'm talking to this morning is bound in shackles. Somebody this morning that I'm talking to is bound by sickness. Somebody is bound by some sort of disease. Somebody is, is bound by some financial problem. Or some, somebody is, is, is bound by some kind of a family problems or, or whatever it is. Can I tell you to, to be like Paul and Silas? Be like the Hebrew children. Just look to Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Step out on faith today. Have hope in Jesus Christ. Amen. Have hope. Amen. Because only hope, I don't know what the world's hope is, but I know what my hope is, and I know what your hope is. Our hope is in Jesus Christ, and that's the only hope that we, that's going to get us through. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And you see, the more that you spend time in the Word, and I've been doing this, Every morning that I get up, hallelujah, I read a devotional uh, by Kenneth Copeland uh, from faith to faith, amen. And I, it, and I, and I read this uh, devotional for, oh gosh, probably about 15 years. And every time I read it, and I read it, and I read it, and I read it, and I get something new out of it every day. And he talks about 
He talks about faith. He talks about uh, love. He talks about it, it, just anything imaginable. And it, it just fills my spirit. It fills my heart. And, and it changes. And it, it renews me. Amen. And then he has a little Bible and to read a, a verse. And, we re and I read the verse. And I pray over that verse. And I ask God to just... To just, just, just to renew me and change me and transform me because I don't want to be the same as I was in 2020. I don't want to be the same as I was yesterday. I want to be renewed and I want to be transformed. Amen. I don't know about you, but that is me. That is my heart. I want to be changed and renewed. Amen. I don't want to look like the world. Amen. I don't want to talk like the world. Amen. But I want to be on fire for Jesus Christ. Amen. I'll say that again. I want to be on fire for Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't want to, I don't want religion to, to have me bound. Amen. I don't want to be bound by religion or man-made doctrine, but I want to be bound by the true and living God. Amen. I want to be bound by Jesus Christ. Amen. For Paul says, I am a prisoner of Christ. Amen. And that's what I want to be. I want to be bound to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And every morning that I wake up, I give thanks to God and I get into his word. Amen. And I turn on uh, either gospel music. Amen. Hallelujah. Turn on some, some Jackson Southern Airs and some Cat and Spirituals. Amen. And I just praise the Lord. And sometimes, you know, sometimes if the mood sets me straight, I, I might turn on some Jeremy Camp or, or some Chris Tomlin or Elevation Worship music. And I just, I just let the, the Spirit of God just dwell in me. And I say, Lord, have your way, Lord. Lord, strengthen me. Lord, encourage me. Lord, just guide me. And Lord, I let the words just come alive. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as that song goes, hallelujah. And as that, old, as that song goes by Elevation Worship Music, it says, God will turn your graves into gardens. Love that song. He will turn your graves into gardens. He will give you beauty for ashes. He will turn your mourning into dancing. Amen. Can I say that he will turn your seas into and the highways, amen. He's the only one who can, amen, because there's nothing. Oh, God, there's nothing better than God, amen. And every time I hear that song, I just fall on my face, and I just worship God, amen. Hallelujah. I don't even, I, I don't even, even, in the morning times, I don't even turn on the news because I get into the Word, and I want to he hear the good news, Amen. I want to hear the good news. I want to hear a word from on high at night before I go to bed. Hallelujah. I read, I read, I, I'm going through the Bible in a year and I'm reading our daily bread. Amen. Hallelujah. And, now, and, 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 and I'm reading it and I'm just letting it just marinate in my heart. And I'm praying to God and I'm asking God, I'm spending time in prayer and I'm saying, God, just touch this world. Touch this world. And God hears your prayers. Amen. It doesn't have to be a long prayer, but God hears your prayers. Because it says that God never sleeps nor slumbers. When, we are, when we're in bed at night, God is awake. He's watching over you as you are in your bed sleeping. God is watching over you. Amen. And that is awesome. And each morning you wake up to see a brand new day. Can I tell you that God is, 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 is it's just a joy to wake up in the morning knowing that the joy of the Lord is your strength. To know that his mercies are new every morning and to know that he is a God that sits high and looks low. Amen. Can I tell you that 
I wouldn't trade this for anything. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I love the Lord today. Amen. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed to tell the world. And I'm telling you right now, and I hope this goes out across the land, that G there's nothing better than Jesus Christ. And I am a living testimony. You are a living testimony. And I don't care what you are facing today. I don't care what the problem is today. God will make a way. Amen. But you, you have to pray. And you have to seek his face. For the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all of these things shall be added unto you. So what are you, what are you saying is that I have to seek God. I have to get on my knees and I have to pray and I have to ask God to help me along the way. Amen. Hallelujah. God will make a way today, brothers and sisters. And today, he will make a way for the body of Christ. And I've been praying for the body of Christ. And I've been praying that God continues to join us together. Get rid of all of the, the schism, the division in the body, and just continue to worship God in spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen. To, and I'm going to say this. I'm going to say that, you know, it's not about what the Baptists believe in. It's not about what the Pentecostals believe in. But it's about serving the true and living God. Amen. Take the day of Pentecost. They came together in one accord. They didn't say, oh, well, the Episcopalians believe in this and, 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 the, and the Baptists believe in this and, and the Pentecostals believe in this and the Presbyterians believe in this. No, they came together in one accord. And the Holy Spirit filled the room. Amen. And that's where I want to be. I want to come together and just pray for my brothers and sisters. I want to come together and, and just be on one accord. I want to come together and I just want to say, God, touch this people. Amen. And let you know that God is real today. Amen. Because it's not about religion. It's not about denomination. But it's about serving a true and living God. And that's where I stand. I serve Jesus Christ. Amen. Because I know that Jesus Christ will make a way for me. Amen. Because I know one day, one day when I was lost, Jesus found me. I know one day when I didn't have a God on my side, I know that Jesus took me and he gave me joy unspeakable and full of glory. Amen. Amen. It was Jesus Christ that did that. It was the only begotten son of God that took me in and took you in and gave you life and is speaking life in you right now. Amen. Hallelujah. It wasn't religion, but it was Jesus Christ. And it's not about religion. It's about a relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm not going to get up here and preach religion. But I'm going to tell you about a relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to tell you that God will make a way for you. And I stand on that. I stand on the word of God. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to look to the world. Amen. But I'm going to look to Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of my faith. Hallelujah. And as I bring this to a close, can I tell you that Jesus Christ died for your sins oh yes one friday one friday evening one friday friday morning jesus christ went up a hill called mount calvary and he went up the hill and he and they nailed him on the cross and they pierced him in the side. They put a crown of thorns on his head. He hung there from the sixth to the ninth hour. He stayed there until the sun refused to shine. Hallelujah. Then they put him in Joseph's new tomb. 
But I was reading also in Matthew, the 27th chapter, and I believe it starts with the 62nd verse, I believe. And as I was reading that this past week, the scribes, uh, the, scri uh, the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate and said, Pilate, can you seal the tomb? Because this, now they called Jesus, they said, this deceiver, they said this deceiver, which they were talking about Jesus, they said deceiver ended up saying that he's going to rise up on the third day. They said on the third day he's going to rise up. And so for keeping this from happening, I, what I want you to do is we want you to seal the tomb so this won't happen, so the disciples can't say that, oh yeah, the Lord rose. So Pilate said, okay, do whatever, that's fine, fine, okay. But can I tell you, that didn't stop the Lord God Almighty, amen? Because can I tell you that what these, these, these chief priests, these chief priests, chief elders, and Pharisees, they tried to stop the progress of God? But can I tell you that on the third day morning, he rose? I don't care, the, 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 the tomb might have been sealed, but he rose because he had all power. So on that resurrection morning, he on that resurrection morning, he rose with all power. Heaven and earth in his hand. Amen. Hallelujah. He died, he was buried, and he rose. He rose, and now he he ascended into heaven. And that's not the end of the story. Because one day he's coming back for a church without a spot or a wrinkle. He's coming back for you and me. And we need to be ready. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to be ready on that, on that day, on that day when the trumpet of God sounds. We need to look to the skies. Amen. And we need to, we're going to be caught up in the air. Those that are, are still alive in Christ are going to be caught up in the air. And he said the dead, the dead is going to rise first. Amen. And then, and then, and then, and then th those that are still here on earth are going to be caught up to meet him in the air. And I don't know if I go by the grave or if I go, you know, here on earth. I want to see Jesus. I want to see the glory of God. I want to, I just want to see him. I want to look and oh, I just long to see Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. The man who died for me. Amen. Hallelujah. So today, my message is the Lord will make a way out of no way. The Lord will make a way. That song that says the Lord will make a way somehow and he will make a way. Amen. So as I, as I close this morning, I'm asking you today that don't know the Lord, mm, that you come to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. There's a song, I believe it's by Elevation Worship Music, that says, come to the altar, the Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness is bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. So today, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Whatever, you're, whatever you did, whatever you did is, is going to be forgiven because forgiveness comes by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. So today, those that don't know the Lord, I invite you to come to down and just accept Jesus right now. Get down on your knees. The, you know, you, you, the, altar, the altar of your heart. Just get down on your knees and go to the altar of your heart and just say, Lord God, right now, God, I know that I'm a sinner. Lord God, I want to come to know you as my Lord and personal Savior. And Lord God, the word of God says that if I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that God has raised me from, raised, raised your son Jesus from the dead, I will be saved. And Lord, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. So if you pray that prayer, oh man, pray that prayer. If you pray that prayer, then you, you will be saved. If you call on the name of the Lord, you will be saved today. And I just have an open extend an open invitation to you today. And just even if you want to rededicate your life to the Lord today, I, I invite you to rededicate your life to the Lord. Amen. Those that have fallen, those that have backslidden, whatever, just give your life to give just rededicate your life today. Sometimes we have to do that. Sometimes we have to rededicate our lives to the Lord. I do it all the time. Amen. And there's nothing wrong with that. Amen. Hallelujah.
So just close in prayer. I'm going to pray this prayer, and then I'm going to say, God, you are an awesome God. Amen. You are a mighty God. Amen. Our precious and eternal Father God, I come before you today. Thanking you, Lord, for another day. Thanking you for the word. And Lord God, I just ask that you touch this people today, Father God. Strengthen them and encourage them today, Father God. Father God, we know that you will make a way out of no way, Father God. Father God, help us to continue to look to the hills of which cometh our help. Our help cometh from you, Lord. Lord God, we just know that you're going to strengthen and encourage us today. And Lord God, we just say, bread of heaven, feed us until we want no more. Just send down that manna from heaven. And Lord God, just continue to bless us and feed us. And Lord God, we love you right now. We praise you and we worship you right now, God. And God, we forever give you the praise. Lord, we thank you for the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the, 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 those nail-scarred hands. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done. And Lord God, we just want to say, Lord, we praise you right now. And we forever want to give you the praise. And Lord, be with us throughout this week. Be with us throughout this week. Touch every needed soul one by one. Bless those that are sick and afflicted. Bless those that are bereaved, are bereaving right now, Lord. Touch the bereaved families right now, Lord. And Lord, just, just be with us all. Because God, we know. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you will make a way for us. And we continue to praise you and worship you right now. Come on, put your hands together. Let's give Jesus the praise.